since then he hasn't had any seizure activity. Every Tuesday morning, oncologists, neurologists, surgeons, radiologists, pathologists, and other specialists gather together at Tufts Medical Center to talk about brain tumors. Well, that's why I wanted to look at the, the preoperative scan. So. They review the history, data, and scans of each and every new brain tumor patient and discuss recommendations for treatment from standard surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy to newer technologies. I woke up around 6 o'clock in the morning. I had a, a, a headache that I can't even describe. 41-year-old Carrie Lawson passed out onto her kitchen floor soon afterwards and was awoken by her then three-year-old daughter. She soon learned she had brain cancer. I feel like I have a sniper on me. I never know it's going to happen. So it's a little bit um, hard. Any problems with the device? No. No, I've been doing okay with it. Good. Carrie has had a number of new treatments, including Optune. Small electrodes placed on a shaved scalp for 18 hours a day sent electrical currents to the brain. This could totally revolutionize, you know, treatment, using electrical fields to cure cancer. Dr. Soraya Jayapalan says that while the idea may sound odd, given fear that things like power lines and cell phones may actually cause cancer, she believes these fields can disrupt the way cancer cells divide, stopping the growth of the tumor or even decreasing its size. And that's helping people live longer. In fact, in one clinical trial of 700 patients, those using the device lived on average four months longer than they would have without the device. 2005, before the first chemotherapy came around, all we had was surgery and radiation for these disease. I'd say definitely under 10%, probably for all comers under 5% of people were alive at two years. Then the first chemotherapy was shown to work that got the two-year survival for all comers to 25%. And now electrical fields has the two-year survival up to 48%. It's unbelievable. Optune is FDA approved for glioblastoma tumor treatment in those 22 years of age and older. The most common side effect is skin irritation of the scalp. Many private insurance companies are now covering the cost. Another innovative treatment for brain tumors is a special type of surgery. A way to reduce the size of the tumor without ever making an incision. The beauty of Gamma Knife is that it has it can focus very, very, very uh, sharply and very tightly and very precisely a tiny little beams of radiation to a spot in the brain. Doctors map out a personal plan to target each tumor. A lightweight titanium aluminum frame is placed around the patient's head and attached onto the gamma knife machine to accurately line up the 192 beams of radiation so they intersect in the exact spot needed. Okay, we're going to start your treatment now. By changing the position of the patient relative to the, to the convergence of these beams, you can then develop very complex shapes of radiation that can cover uh, complex shaped uh, tumors. The accuracy of the gamma knife means tissue surrounding the tumor is spared from radiation. Most patients need just one treatment, lasting between 30 minutes and two hours, and have minor or no side effects. Effectiveness varies depending upon the type of brain tumor. In metastatic tumors that come from somewhere else in the body to the brain, regardless of the, where the tumor comes from, the result of the gamma knife is somewhere between 85 to 90 percent uh, uh, positive in terms of controlling the tumor. Carrie had gamma knife radio surgery and continues to wear Optune. She has been determined to be around for her little girl since receiving the brain tumor diagnosis three years ago. I was told immediately that I would pass away. I only have 12 months, but I'm still here, <laughs> so I'm thankful. She's particularly thankful for her caregivers who provide both compassion and innovation. Oh my goodness, wonderful. <laughs> They are wonderful. Um, I can't even, I can't even describe it. Um, it. I think I'm here because of because of Tufts. I don't think that uh, anybody else would have been able to um, 
to do what I've been able to do here. Tufts is wonderful. They're wonderful. For Tufts Medical Center, I'm Diane Stern.